Hey uh, everybody, it's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video we're going to create a small program where the user will type in a temperature, and we can convert that temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius, or Celsius to Fahrenheit. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now before we begin this video, make sure that you include these two imports at the top. We'll be working with string functions, and many of them can be found within this import, cType.h. So let's declare the variables that we'll need. Char unit. Unit will be either C for Celsius or F for Fahrenheit. And float temp, short for temperature. Let's prompt the user to enter in some user input. Print F is the temperature in F or C. And then we will accept some user input. So we will be accepting a character. So use the appropriate format specifier for characters. And we will use the address of operator, which is an ampersand unit. And then let's use an if statement to check to see if unit is equal to the character C. Else if unit is equal to F, we will use the formula to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. If it's C, Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we should probably add an else statement as well. Okay, let's actually test these right now. Okay, this will only be temporary. I'm going to print a message. The temp is currently in Celsius. And with Fahrenheit, the temperature is currently in Fahrenheit. So if the user did not type in C or F, well then what the heck did they type in? So within our else statement, let's yell at the user. Let's say that whatever they entered in is not valid input. So format specifier C is not a valid unit of measurement. And then we will display whatever the user typed into our unit variable. So let's test this. Is the temperature in F or C? So F, the temp is currently in F. Let's try it again. Is the temperature in F or C? C, the temp is currently in C. Okay, this time we will not type in F or C. How about the word pizza? This only accepts the first character. P is not a valid unit of measurement. Here's one situation that we may run into. C programs are case sensitive. If I type in lowercase f or lowercase c, well, technically, neither of these conditions would be true. For example, if I type lowercase c, c is not a valid unit of measurement. To avoid that problem, I can take my user input and use the toUpper function to make it uppercase. Or you could set these conditions to check for lowercase characters instead and use the toLower function. Uh, so let's take our unit variable and I'm going to reassign it after using the toUpper function and then pass in our unit to make it uppercase. And now if I type in lowercase c or lowercase f, this user input will be made uppercase. The temp is currently in c. So this is optional, but I thought it'd be a good thing to add to this program. Now what we'll work on next, depending on the unit, there's going to be a different formula, a different calculation. Now we will need the user to enter in the current temperature. So let's begin with our if statement, if unit is equal to C, Celsius. Enter the temp in Celsius. This time we are accepting a floating point number. We will use scanf, the format specifier for floating point numbers, address of operator, temp. And then we need to calculate the new temperature after it's converted from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we will reassign it into the same variable temp. Temp equals, and here's the formula, temp times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. And then let's print the temperature. Print F. The temp in Fahrenheit is, and I'm going to use a format specifier, percent F. 
but I would only like to display one digit after the decimal, so I will add dot one. And then we will insert our temperature, temp. Okay, let's try this. Enter the temperature in F or C. Currently, we only have the Celsius portion set up. So, C, enter the temp in Celsius. How about zero degrees Celsius? The temp in Fahrenheit is 32.0. Okay, so we know that it's working. Let's fill out our else if statement. Else if unit is equal to F. And let's copy some of this. Enter the temp in Fahrenheit. We will reassign our temperature variable. Temp equals, and here's the formula, temp minus 32 times 5. And we will divide all of this by 9. Then let's display the temperature in Celsius. The temp in Celsius is our format specifier, then the temp variable. Is the temperature in F or C? This time it is in Fahrenheit. Enter the temp in Fahrenheit. So 32 degrees in Fahrenheit should translate to zero degrees Celsius, which it is. So yeah, everybody, I thought that would be a useful practice program for us to get used to accepting user input. I'll post all of this code from this program in the comment section down below if you'd like a copy. So if you found this video helpful, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.